Okay, so here we created the histogram, the function that we use to calculate histogram, to better say, and now let's create a class that we will grab the images from the data set and also we will create a class for that. So let's create a class and we create it uh, and we use triple. Yeah. I I hope you know what how Python use everything so you can understand what I'm doing right now. We get attribute and we put it on triple in index yes so by this we create the class and let's create mater material type so material type will be like let, let me comment them for better understanding um, a new rate material or or coins folder whatever you want so what I will do what I will do now is create like um, coins folder will be we, we use the class and we will put the name of the the folder that we have and that data set we have one euro two euro but I can I prefer to write like euro one euro two because I don't want to start with an integer so let's start with copper and here we can have brass and uh, here we'll write U2 instead of one euro or one or two euro like you will want and here I will have U2 so that's the name of the of the class that we will use or of the material like you know that we have brass copper and something like that and yeah what's wrong with you and resolve your instance so let's see further so yes so let's get all the the coins all of all of the images from the folder so to do that on Unix operating system, you can use a library called Globe. Globe. So I will show you. Yeah, we can we can do something like here. We can import Globe. Yeah. We use this then to create our or to get images from the folders so to do that I can uh, do something like sample from copper will be globe dot globe in the path name as you could see here and the path name is in my folder data set and the folder copper and I tell the program that I need all items from the folder so I will do the same sample from brass we will use globe globe as well the globe and the path name so we use data set in the brass and we will use all item again sample your one will be globe that globe and the path name will be 
data set make sure that you wipe them well so here i will wipe one euro so one big e euro and again all item sample two euro or euro two will be from globe globe data set or two euro I have in the folder two euro in all so with this we can like we we can show how many images so let, let me do something like print or I can do something like the amount the amount will be length simple or this plus line sample one your plus line sample press plus play sample cover so I hope it will work without converting to integer so we can print the amount let's see so I plot the histogram that I that we did before yes I have the problem as I was waiting for the indentation we should remove I forgot to do that index of turbo yeah again when sometimes they try to help me and fulfill this yeah you can see here I have 240 images yeah I can just show you like this one and you can see how many two euro screen I have yeah you you can see here 40 45 42 so you can see I I, I have access to the images and my folder so I can just remove that and let's continue so now we we have to define our training data set in labels so we have this training data set and those are label so we have to define what what is training and what are label so let's come in with that defining training data and labels so we we know that we will not use the image that the images that are in the in the folder but we use the histogram of those images so we will not use the single images but we cannot do anything with the images itself that's why we converted to we converted or we calculate the histogram of each of them so we have to to define here not the folder with the images but the histogram normalized of the images so we will create the, the histogram array here and uh, an empty we will append it next time and we we create a class array or we can even call it like like label array so you can understand better label label array and 
this we already know it but I will show you where we will get it from so we define those things and now we can compute or we can loop over the the let, let me write it looping looping over the data or the folder the folder and calculate calculate histogram and append to the right class so here we loop over the folder with single with all images like we loop over copper of a brass one euro two euro and we get those images and we compute them with the function calculate histogram that we have created and then when we find that we append the either to list array or label array so let's try this we use for i and sample cover we we create this histogram array and append we give them to the calculate histogram yeah in i so with this line we calculate the histogram by using the function that we have created before for each of the images inside of the, the folder sample copper or copper so we get the histogram and then we can just add the name or we will append the name to the label so we will know that those histogram are for copper so we add the label array and we append we use the c folder that we have created before coin folders or let me name it name name folder so i nearly forgot how, how i use it before because i forgot it was, it was not a good name so we we take the name folder and we we put not here but here we put copper up in yeah where well you get this from that we up in name folder and copper yeah so the, now we are in with the function with the copper folder so we can continue for i and sample brass we will do the same we use the function histogram array we append we use the function calcul calc histogram that we have created and we pass i and we will append them to the label array so we add name folder and brass sample we do the same for all for i and sample you will want we do something like histogram array append calculate histogram of every images and we use label array append and it's nice to, to write it like that and again name folder and how did i name it here yeah euro one euro one and last we do the same for two euro i and sample euro two we them to the histogram array and up and yeah we calculate histogram of each of them and label 
we append name folder and you will too. Yeah. With this line, we have possibility to just instead of string, just put them here as the word variables. So now we will have to do something very very or extra important. So now we have the histogram of each of them and we have we have the training data set with the labels. So now we have to we have to create a classifier by using a machine learning method or a machine learning algorithm and we we will have to take those those items and do something with them so i don't like or i don't want to have a so long or a very long video so let's stop here and let's continue with that on the next video